In the month of June, uh, we had a mayoral candidate meeting at Taunga Girls College and the purpose of this video is to just raise a significant issue with regard to Kelvin Clout and his um, some of the comments he made during that meeting. The context here was that um, Kelvin was talking about the Bella Vista Homes people and was making a comparison to other financial investments and made the comment that the uh, people who owned Bella Vista houses did well to get their money back. They should be grateful in other words. Now um, I take umbrage with this because um, to my way of thinking he isn't comparing apples with apples but what we'll just do is we'll flick over to um, the actual mayoral meeting and have a look at what um, Kelvin said. Now if you ask the homeowners, I think there are some here tonight, if you ask the homeowners are you pleased you got your money back? Are you pleased that you could move on with your life? Because you, 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 yeah, this one. You, you tell people who invested in uh, Western Bay Finance, you tell people who have had bad investments in business or other houses, if they could get all their money back and walk away and move on with their lives, they would say, well, I dodged the bullet there. And as a council, I believe we acted very honourably in towards the homeowners. It was a tough time for them. Yeah, it was a tough time for them. But we acted as, as Speed said, we've acted in lightning speed to get the sorted. And we act on standby. Now, the issue that I want to discuss is one of um, uh, the paradigm under which the council operates. And that is one which is defined through the Local Government Act. And it involves integrity, accountability, and transparency. Now, the um, integrity has failed for these issues with Bella Vista Homes to have come to a head because essentially building inspections and resource consent processes didn't come together, which is essentially the upshot of the Paul Heath report. And for Kelvin to compare people whose houses have been impacted with a financial investment, I suggest is an apple to oranges comparison. The reason for that is that when people make a financial investment, they are aware in most cases of the possible consequences, and it is merely a financial impact if anything goes wrong, as significant as that might be. When we're dealing with a house though, um, people need that in order to live, they need it for um, family stability, they need it to um, give their kids a happy place to grow up and be able to go to their school and have pets and so on. So there's a whole lot of um, things which are impacted and of course um, relationships which we've seen with the Bella Vista people get strained under such circumstances. And so the issue that then arises is one which is multifaceted. Whereas with a financial investment, it is um, a single issue that you then have created for yourself. Now, also with this, we have a situation where the Bella Vista Homes people didn't have anywhere else they could actually go to get away from Tauranga City Council doing the building consents and resource consents. So you've also got a situation where there's a monopoly at play here. And under those circumstances, that, in my view, necessitates the system actually working at an even higher level of integrity because there is no choice for those homeowners. So in my view, um, Kelvin's comparison was utterly um, hopeless. And it says to me that Kelvin Clout Despite the fact he is Deputy Mayor and he is wanting to run for the mayoralty, he doesn't even understand the fundamental context under which a council operates. Now the Taonga Exposed Group ran a poll and the results of that we'll have a look at in a minute, but the gist of that was that um, the uh, um, final outcome was 19% supported Kelvin and 81% agreed with my way of thinking. And for me to be saying this, and I'm not even a councillor, um, I just find the whole situation absolutely appalling.